welcome to our primary class. We'll begin with an opening prayer. Then we'll have an opening hymn. I love to see the temple. And this will be our lesson. The family, a proclamation to the world. The family is central to the creator's plan. And this will be covered for December 13 and 19. So we're going to focus more about the family. So this proclamation was given by the First Presidency and the Council of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So let us read. We, the First Presidency and the Council of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, solemnly proclaim that marriage between a man and a woman is ordained or being given a commandment by God. So from the foundation of the world, so the marriage between a man and woman. So, and that the family is central to the creator's plan for the eternal destiny of his children. All human beings, male and female, are created in the image of God. So be because we are his children, each is beloved spirit, son, or daughter of heavenly parents, and as such, each has a divine nature and destiny because we are his children we also have the divine nature or and destiny so gender is an essential characteristic of individual pre-mortal mortal and eternal identity and purpose so before we came here on earth we already have a, gen a gender so this is our eternal identity and purpose in the pre-mortal realm Spirit, son, and daughters knew and worshiped God as their eternal father. So we knew that God is also our father in heaven. And we accepted his plan by which his children could obtain physical body and gain earthly experience to progress toward perfection and ultimate reali realize their divine destiny as heirs of eternal life. So we learn also that we have to gain body and to gain also experience so that we will progress or we can grow uh, in knowledge and also our faith here on earth. So we will be tested. So that's the purpose why we are here on earth. And we also recognize our divine destiny as we come to understand the, the plan by learning also the gospel of Jesus Christ. The divine plan of happiness enables family relationship to be perpetuated beyond the grave. So we all know that we have a time limit here on earth. We're all going to die, but it doesn't end here on earth. So we continue when we go to the next life and we can have an eternal family too by uh, making sacred ordinance and covenants available only in the holy temples. This make it possible for individuals to return to the presence of God and for families to be united eternally. So we can be united uh, when we make the sacred or covenants or ordinance inside the temple. So it, it, it will be available for everyone. It is given for free, but we have to work it on. We have to abide and to make those sacred ordinance and to keep it also. So the first commandment that God gave to Adam and Eve, so this is the first commandment given to them, pertain to their potential for parenthood as husband and wife. We declare that God's commanded for his children to multiply and replenish. This is the first commandment that we should multiply and replenish the earth and it, it remains in force until now. So we further declare that God has commanded that the sacred power of procreation are to be employed only between man and woman, lawfully wedded as husband and wife. So right now we also uh, recognize, uh, we also observe that this already been um, neutral for most of people that we will have children before marriage. So the church will always be the one to help us also to correct our mistake. So we just have to accept it and to repent and to make to us some action to correct our mistake also. If ever we make mistake, we have to uh, we have to repent and to correct to correct those mistake. So for us not to be in a bad situation or about circumstances we have to be careful also and to 
ask for guidance from heaven so that we will not be tempted or we will not be uh, cold or we will not be facing also bad, um, bad consequences because we make mistakes. But if ever we make mistakes, there's also step also, also, also to correct those things and we can regain our faith and also our confidence so that we will um, have the chance also to receive once again the blessings and to help our children to become, um, to, to make our family to be more united and to be happy with uh, receiving the blessings of and to regain also the companionship of the Holy Ghost. So we declare that means by which mortal life is created to be divinely appointed. We offer the sanctity of life of, and of its importance in God's eternal plan. So husband and wife have a solemn responsibility to love and care for each other and for their, for their children. So our family should be bound with love also and respect and to care for one another. We should not be selfish. So children are an heritage of the Lord. So when we're given children, this is a blessing and a sacred duty also. So parents have a sacred duty to their to rear their children in love and righteousness. So we have to love them and to guide them in righteousness, to provide for their physical and spiritual needs and to teach them to love and serve one another, observe the commandments of God and be law-abiding citizens wherever they live Husband and wives, mothers and fathers will be held accountable before God for the discharge of this obligation. So uh, the family is a constant attack of Satan. So he wanted to break us apart. So we have to uh, focus and to, um, to, to work on together so that our family can remain forever and we will not be separated. So we have to abide the counsel of our leader also and we will be accountable if we uh, we will not fail uh, we will not uh, do our responsibility so we will face the judgment bar and we'll be accountable for those children and for our uh, husband or wife if we abandon our responsibility so the family is ordained of god marriage between man and woman is essential to his eternal plan Children are entitled to birth within the bonds of matrimony and to be reared by father and mother who honor marital vows with complete fidelity. Happiness in family is family life is most likely to be achieved when founded upon the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. So successful marriages and families are established and maintained on principle of faith, prayer, repentance, forgiveness, respect, love, compassion, work, and wholesome recreational activities. By divine design, so divine design, the father rule should be to preside over the families in love and righteousness and are responsible to provide the necessities of life and protection for their families. So for mothers are primarily responsible for the nurture of their children. So in this sacred responsibility, fathers and mothers are obligated to help one another as equal partners. So equal partners. So we work together in unity and love for the benefits of their children. Disability, death, or other circumstances may necessitate individual adaptation. Extended families should lend support when needed. Uh, when needed. So sometimes we face some socialist challenges and we also need some help from our extended family. So they're the first one we should um, ask for help when in case of emergency or needs. So these are guidelines so that we can achieve a happy family and to be to have a su successful marriage or family. So it, it has to work on together. So we need also to uh, abide this principle so that we can be strengthened. So the attack of Satan cannot affect us if we focus also in the in the gospel of Jesus Christ, if we founded our relationship with or to be centered with with the plan of God also. We warn that individuals who violate covenants of chastity when we uh, 
covet or make adultery. So there is a warning here. Who abuse spouse or offspring or who fail to fulfill family responsibilities will one day stand accountable before God. So we don't experiment in marriage or uh, this is not a trial and error. It's a work in progress or or we should say that um, we will, this are, these are sacred covenants that we made. So we have to, um, we have to figure out things so that we can focus more on how to strengthen our family. If in case we, we need counsel, we need help from our leaders. So we can also do that so that it will give us also the enlightenment and also to strengthen and the counsel that we need so that it, we can figure out how to face our challenges as parents or as a couple. So further, we warn that the disintegration of the family will bring upon individual communities and nation the calamities foretold by ancient and modern prophets. So the failure of a family doesn't only um, affect only beyond our homes, but it also affects our community and our country. So we there's a warning by ancient and modern prophets. We call upon responsible citizens and officers of government everywhere to promote those measures designed to maintain and strengthen the family as the fundamental unit of society. So we have to strengthen and we have to, um, to proclaim this to all that we will focus also in achieving to a, a successful marriage and family by abiding this principle that we learn here in the proclamation for the family. So we can also watch this video so that we can fully appreciate more the purpose of family. And we have also activity here that we can do. And also we can review the members of the family so that we can do the same later on. So we're done for our lesson for today. And thank you once again for attending this class. So I hope that we better understand the purpose of our, our purpose here on earth and why do we have to make a sacred covenant by marriage and to know our rule be, um, someday as a parent or as a wife or a husband. So I know this is a designed by a God and ordained by him. And this is the this is the uh, the way that we can uh, have the fullness of happiness if we will also um, uh, follow his direction to be married and to have an eternal family so that we will not be individual but we will have a great prosperity in our next life too. So I know this is to be true. I would like to leave this in the name of Jesus Christ. And I know that he loves us and he wants to give us more blessing as we seek his guidance also. So continue to support this channel. You know what, what to do. And please like and share this video and leave a comment and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated. So thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye. God bless.